Welcome back. Today is my birthday. It's a big day. I'm the big 5-0. So Linda has lots of plans. We're going to go to Raleigh, have some coffee, some sweets. You know, we got to have sweets and other things. We're going to take you along for the ride. So let's get to it. And apparently I've been really good. You see all the stuff Linda got me. She got me some candles. I ain't never seen no candles like that. At least I don't say old. Got your plates. There's my birthday cake. And my presents. You gotta love your presents. So for breakfast, we went by Biscuitville and we decided what's better than biscuits. So we here having breakfast birthday at Biscuitville in Raleigh. But some people was really good and gave me two free biscuits for birthday. Can't argue about that. Can't argue about free, Linda says. So right here is what we got for breakfast. We got biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy, and then I got sausage, and I got an ultimate bacon biscuit, and a cream brulee, which is really good. They have a, like a soda fountain machine that spits it out. I need one at the house. <laughs> and here we are, Yates Mill Pond, which is the last water grist mill in North Carolina. Operating. Operating, you can see the pond over there. Looks real good with no leaves on the trees and stuff. Like a pavilion over there. Nice little picnic area. Has a real nice rocks on the side. There's drainage with the rocks looks really good and the pond is starting to sprinkle on us rock faster, <laughs> rock faster. <laughs> and right here is some old grist mills three of them I don't know what would have made it crack look at that yeah that one's cracked Right here, I think this is the old grist mill. And the big building over there. Look at that. They chinked that up good. There Linda is, just taking it all in. We always end up by the water. Yeah, we do. We do like the water. No fishing. No fishing. Right, there's the slough to power the the, the, the grist mill on the inside, which is closed today. Oh, that slate. Oh, yeah. We have to go down below and see it from the, the bottom. You know, it's going to look pretty good, pretty awesome. Right there's two more grist mills that they're using for steps up into the mill itself. Look at this walkway. Right there's where we at, Yates Mill. Okay, this is underneath the building. Right there is how they turn the grist mill on the inside, the big wheel right there. This is beautiful. Right here is some cool gears and stuff that was once used in the, in the grist mill. And 
that gives you a reference how big the teeth are. I mean, three of my fingers. We've seen two guys on the trail with fly fishing reels, and I asked them if they catch any trout here. They said they didn't know. They was here going with a class for NC State. They had no classes like that when I was in school. That's kind of monked up. So coming to the Yates Mill is free unless you do the tour on the weekends inside the grist mill. But we're here on a Wednesday, so we didn't go in it. But this is all free. And so now we're going to the State Capitol building in Raleigh. Here we are at the Raleigh State Capitol building. I like that bronze statue there. James Knox Polk, Andrew Jackson, and Andrew Johnson. Yeah, that's nice. Nice building. So this is the inside of the Capitol building. This must be a picture of George Washington. And look up at that. Well, we figured it out. Europe brought the slaves to America. If you read that right, the slavery came to North Carolina with the arrival of the first European settlers. Large plantation and a restaurant, North Carolina enslaved African Americans worked on smaller farms on manufacturing. You know, Linda always has to be looking at what she ain't supposed to be. She's busted. I caught her. That's a little alcove in there. This is the North Carolina House of Representatives. Looks like they don't have too many representatives. But it's just like our politicians always um, on vacation. You can see they ain't in session today. Look at that fireplace. Yep, I guess as U.S. citizens, we pay the politicians to always be on vacation. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you, the, the detail on these doors are immaculate. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The east and west porticos close to the public. Right here is the North Carolina Senate Chambers, and of course again, they're where they at on vacation. I don't think they even use this because look over here. Yeah, I, don't, I think you're right. I think they don't use this no more. But still, you know they're probably still on vacation. <laughs> hey, look at the litter box. <laughs> I don't know what it's really for. I don't know. That's a nice spittoon. Uh huh. Look at all the artwork on the columns and stuff. You got two fireplaces over there behind the speaker on both sides. Oh my gosh, did they put and then you this got here two right here. Did they put this here? Right here's a geologist in the state building. Another beautiful fireplace. Another spittoon. Look at all the detail walk up there on the ceiling. We're on the third floor now, I guess. This is where the tone the cheap seats came in at. But there's a seat so they could watch what the proceedings of the Senate. This is down below. They definitely don't look very comfortable. I don't think they want people sitting here listening to them very long. Right there. Right there's a tribute to our troops. Leave no man behind. It's a good, that's a good statue. You didn't even see that. We parked right beside that church. That's an old church right there. 
just beautiful. We do like all the architecture of the old buildings. Okay, that Leave No Man Behind was a North Carolina Vietnam Veterans Memorial dedicated to the men and women of North Carolina who soared with dignity and honor in, in the Vietnam War. Right here is a North Carolina State Wolfpack uh, football field. Kind of small. It says it holds like 56,000 people though. There's some club boxes up there on the right. Yeah, we're going to go right on around so we can see from the end. Up there is the club boxes for the NC State Wolfpack football field. Right over there is the PNC Arena. I think that that's where they had the monster truck at the other night. It was at the PNC Arena. Right there is the Wolfpack right here in front of the stadium. So that's pretty cool. Right there is the entrance for Duke University. We came up here to look at the football field. Man, I played on a bigger football field when I was in junior high than I did than they, Duke's got here. I thought the ACC was supposed to be big time money in schools, but they ain't got no big football field. Just crazy. Well, we're going to Golden Crown now to have the birthday dinner at 4.38, so it must be the senior that way we can be in bed by six. <laughs> but we ain't never in bed by six hardly ever. And then we're gonna go home and I'll open presents and have cake at the house later this evening. Yeah. After my food settles. Cause you know I'm gonna eat all the bad all the bad stuff. The steak, fried chicken, cream potatoes and gravy, macaroni and cheese, all yeah, all the bad stuff. So is Linda's. So there's my plates. I told you I was going to eat healthy. <laughs> and there's Linda. She's got three kinds of potatoes over there. She's just told me. <laughs> so who? Scalloped potatoes, green potatoes, and sweet potato fluff. <laughs> well, we made it home in time, but I don't think we're going to hit the 6 o'clock bedtime. It's 5.30 now. But we ain't going to bed at 6 o'clock anyhow. I might take a nap, though. But now we're going to open birthday presents. But I'll show you afterwards what, what I got. <laughs> Hopefully I got a bunch of motorcycle parts. Okay, so this is what I got. Some chrome tape to chrome up the back a little bit. These chrome pieces right here, I think they go on the fender, but, I, but I'm, I'm drawing a blanket where they go. But anyhow, I wanted them. And they came in this right here, a piece of PVC pipe, which Linda thought was a pipe bomb. She didn't know what was in it. <laughs> Did you, baby? Uh-uh. Then you got this right here. That goes on the front of the bike, right below the, the Honda emblem, just to chrome it up a little bit. Then that goes on the air vents on the, on the side of the bike to make it chrome. These go on the, the front fender just to give it some little bling. Goes on each side of the fender that did just snap into place. Let me see that. Oh, yeah. Then they got this right here. This goes on the front wheel to keep the mud, kind of like a mud guard to keep the mud from going into the, where the radiator is at on it. So that'll come in real handy. Overall, I'd say it was a good haul for me. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Happy birthday. Thank you. And I forgot to say, my mom sent me some money so I can buy some more motorcycle parts. So thank you, mom. And I got some good cards. That one's from Linda. And that one's from my mom. So overall, just a great day. Thanks for watching. I think it's time for me to get in my pajamas and, and relax for a while and have cake after. Oh, yeah, we're going to have cake. So I'll show you the cake when I blow it out. Not in your pajamas. Not in my pajamas, though, she said. <laughs> Kevin's lighting the candles. Looks like that one's sparking. There's a, a bomb in the middle. We might have cake everywhere. Okay, you think you can get it all in one? Yeah. You need to pra some practice blows? No, I don't. Okay, go for it. Oh, wait a minute. Did you make a wish? Yeah. <laughs> I know what you wished. You do? Wish okay. we, w <laughs> wish we wasn't in Smithfield near next birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that one's not going out. <laughs> okay.
Well, thanks for watching the video this week, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy birthday. Thank you.